Hi everybody, Sarah from Caddy Girl Garage again. So today we are finally gonna be finishing up on the 54. I think everybody's well enough. I went through a sickness, then my dog did, so it's been a heck of a week. But anyway, I'm gonna finish vacuuming it out today and then I'm actually gonna pressure wash the inside since I've gutted it. I'm not gonna hurt a thing, it'll just finish cleaning it up nicely. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be taking a detailed video of the entire car, the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, so you guys can see everything about it because I actually have a few people asking about details of it and when it will be for sale, which hopefully I will get it listed tomorrow. So I can pass it on to the next new owner who will continue the restoration. Um, I just have too many projects going on right now to keep this one myself, but it is an absolutely awesome car. Like I said, I think it would make a good surf wagon. I'm in Southern California, so, you know, we think about that kind of stuff, but uh, hearses make awesome surf mobiles. So anyway, thank you guys for watching today, and let's jump in and get started. Okay, everybody, so I've finally finished vacuuming. This car has been absolutely exhausting. So uh, I'm going to start uh, my pressure washer and we're just gonna start spraying the inside down. Like I said, you're not gonna hurt it because it totally needs to be gutted anyway. So here we go. So we went ahead and also pulled the county hospital signs off the door because I think that was just kind of more of a joke or a hoax since obviously this was a hearse. So I'm just going to pressure wash this door real quick and see what that looks like under that sign. As you can see, we're making great progress from what this car was. <laughs> you can actually see what we're working with now, which really isn't that bad at all. The rear floors are really nice and solid. Uh, like I said, all this will dry out in like a day. We're expecting some really warm days um, over the next week. So this will all dry out nicely and I'm just gonna leave the car open. But I just wanted everything really clean so I could represent it accurately. Uh, like I said, super pleased with what we're finding. So as mentioned in my last previous video, um, the only floor problem that I'm seeing is in the front right here. And this was the joke of the century because somebody put concrete or a, like a thin layer of plaster of Paris, whatever you want to call that. I'm getting ready to pressure wash this right here. The firewall is super solid, super nice. But this front floor pan right here where you put your feet uh, is going to have to be obviously redone. The rocker is okay. It's just the center part of the floor and a little bit along the seat here. So we're gonna start pressure washing this right now to clean it all up. But like I said, the concrete is just, that's a new one on me. People, people. Okay, everybody, we are finally done cleaning this car out. We've vacuumed, we've pressure washed, we've torn out interior parts, we've done all kinds of stuff. Uh, like I said, if you're just tuning into my channel, I'll post some before pictures of this car. It literally looked like the county dump on the inside. It was disgusting with trash and it was just bad. Take my word for it, it was bad. <laughs> so anyway, um, tomorrow I will be shooting a video of what the car needs and doesn't need restoration wise. Obviously it needs a total restoration, but it's not as bad as some that I've seen. It's not as good as some that I've seen. So it's kind of right in the middle of the road. 
We did find some rust in the front floor pans, so I will take detailed uh, pictures and video of that tomorrow. Everything else from the divider back so far that I found looks really, really good. So I'll just do a little walk around right now and show you guys what it looks like finished product finally cleaned up. But anyway, uh, thank you guys always so much for watching my channel. If you're just new to the channel and you don't know what I do, I try to rescue, restore, preserve as many classic Cadillacs as I can. Typically, I stick to pre-64, but that's not like a hard rule. Um, I love hearses, ambulances, anything that's different and rare. I mean, I love regular cars too, coupes and sedans, but I have a soft spot for the hearses and the ambulances. And so this uh, Superior hearse I will be listing tomorrow. It is a 54. So I will just show you guys uh, right now what it looks like when we're finally finished. Uh, thank you guys always for watching all my videos. Have a very blessed day. All right, everybody, so that's a wrap. So tomorrow uh, I will do a video of what the car needs and doesn't need restoration wise, but at least it's cleaned out now. I mean, we can see the floors, we can see everything that it needs. Um, if you guys watched the previous videos on this car, it literally looked like the county dump on the inside. It was absolutely disgusting. So at least it's all cleaned out now and we can see the floors. Can't believe it. It's been a process. going to let it dry out overnight. We've got some good warm days here coming up. That's why we love Southern California. We're not dealing with the weather and the snow like everybody else is. We can still play with our cars all year round. All right, so there you have it, everybody. Like I said, I will post before pictures so you guys can see what this car looked like before. But at least you can actually see that it's a car now and not a trash can. <laughs>